पहले हम बात करेंगे मोमेंट ऑफ अ फोर्स के बारे में इट इज डिफाइंड एज फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स टू द पिवेट डिफाइंड एज अ फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स टू द पिवेट सो लेट्स से वी हैव द pivot here right this is the pivot that we have and let's say this is the distance that we have i call this distance d this angle here is 90 degrees and this entire thing here is the line of action of force right ye puri line of action of force so there would be a turning effect about the pivot dekhiye aapne is jaise barrier aur barrier ko upar kiya jab aap ring road pe jaate hain travel kar rahe ho to ye barrier upar hota hai ठीक है और इस तरह से रोटेट करता है सो देर इज अफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स हेयर एंड दिस इज दिवेट राइट एज यू कैन सी हेयर एंड यू शुड नो दैट इट इज डिफाइंड एज फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स टू द पिवेट ऑल्सो वी हैव हेयर थिंग लाइक दिस वी हैव अ व्हील हेयर टायर व्हील इज हेयर ठीक है हमारे पास यहां पे बोल्ट्स लगे हुए हैं और आप स्पैनर से इसको खोलते हैं या आप इसको टाइट करते हैं इट्स से दिस इज द स्पैनर राइट So what you're doing is basically you're applying a moment of force. This is the force here. This is the 90 degrees. This here is the line of action of force. What's happening is that it's producing a clockwise moment, right? Okay, this is producing a clockwise moment. This is the pivot here, as you can see here. You see the pivot. This is line of action of force. If this distance here is the perpendicular distance. From the line of action of force to the pivot, ये perpendicular distance है. तो जब भी आपके पास एक force हो perpendicular, ठीक है, from the pivot, going to produce a turning effect, right? You should know that the turning effect of force is called the moment of a force. ठीक है, एक tire था और इसको आप change कर रहे हैं, तो ये bolts और nuts लगे हुए हैं. ठीक है जी? ये सी डब्ल्यू का लिखा है सी डब्ल्यू क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट अभी हम इसके बारे में बात करेंगे अच्छा आपने आ, ये आपको यहाँ पे भी नजर आएगा ये आपको इस तरह से भी नजर आएगा कि फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव हियर द पिवेट हैव हियर लाइक दिस एंड यू अप्लाई अ फोर्स लाइक दिस व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इज ये ये फोर्स इस तरफ लग रही है देखिये ये एक मूवमेंट प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है तो डिस्टेंस डी था और अभी भी ये पिवेट से डिस्टेंस डी है परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ठीक है सो व्हाट इज मोमेंट मोमेंट इज डिफाइंड एज द फोर्स इनटू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सो वी राइट इट लाइक दिस एफ इनटू डी हियर वेयर डी इज द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स यू सी फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन of force the pivot what is a pivot by the way you should know that the pivot is it is the point from where the rotation takes place dekhiye yahan pe rotation yahan se ho rahi hai dekhiye jahan se rotation takes place karegi wo pivot ban jayega aap pivot kisi bhi point ko assume kar sakte hain jahan pe rotation ho rahi hai ye dekhiye ye line of action of force hai aur ye perpendicular distance hai so moment of a force is f into d where distance is the perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force this is the line of action of force ye puri line of action of force hai aur ye iske sath 90 degree pe jo distance ban raha hai ye perpendicular distance hai from the line of action of force to the pivot from the line of action of force to the pivot uh, what i have written is that it is the point from where the rotation takes place likh sakte hain isko moment ko F into d, right? Is in Newton. Distance is in meter. As I read, is what Newton meter. So know that moment is a vector. The S I read is Newton meter, not joule. Moment is a vector, right? It has direction. It is a vector, right? Remember that. Moment is a vector. Uh, 
you should know that, that let's say you are opening a bottle, right? You also apply the moment when opening the bottle. You're opening the door, you apply the moment. Door go up and close. Kar rahe. So, you mm-hmm. bottle opener. Pe kya karte hai? Ki, ki you apply up here, something like this, right? And this is the force, and this is the pivot, right? This becomes the pivot. And this is the distance. So, this is a moment produced. Okay, okay. This is a moment produced, and this is open. Ho jati hai. इसका क्या ओपन हो जाता है राइट तो इस तरह से आप इसको मोमेंट को देख मुझे बताएं कि अगर मेरे पास ये एक पिवट है और मेरे पास डिस्टेंस लग रहा है d1 ये लेट्स से फोर्स लग रही है मेरे पास ये और d2 मेरे पास ये है तो बताएं मुझे मोमेंट इसका क्या होगा f d1 होगा या f d2 होगा ये डिस्टेंस d1 है f के साथ और ये डिस्टेंस d2 है दिस इज द पिवट मोमेंट विल बी f D2 because this is the perpendicular distance, right, from the force. So you should be aware of this fact. Yes, sir. Let's talk about the turning effect of a force. Turning effect of forces. Turning effect of two types of moments we have. We have a clockwise moment, anti-clockwise moment. So let's say we have here the pivot. And one of the forces is acting here. This is the distance D. This that we have is the clockwise moment and let's say if this is so ye pivot tha acha ye bhi agar pivot hai aur aap isko is taraf leke ja rahe hain to aapne clock ko dekhna aapne basically kya karna hai clock ko dekhna so this is the distance d this is the force f so this is again the clockwise moment right so we are having a clock this is 12 1 2 3 4 5 so you see that that they are in the direction of clock so this is a clockwise moment ye clear hai right? aapne ek pivot ki taraf move karwana hai aapne hamesha pivot ki taraf move karwana hai aap ye nahi karenge ki aap isko yahan move karwa denge that will be wrong aapne hamesha kya karna hai everyone you have to move towards the pivot other thing is the entire clockwise moment and in entire clockwise moment what we do is that we incorporate something like this we have the pivot here and we have force here you see and you're going like an anti clockwise direct in anti clockwise direction this is the distance d that we are having and this is the pivot right and you're going in the anti clockwise direction so this is anti clockwise moment right anti clockwise moment ye hamare paas ye bhi anti clockwise moment hota hai ye pivot hai aur ye hamare paas distance d hai then this is also forming an anti clockwise moment you should be aware of this uh, fact right so moment Sir, is defined to the line of action aap bata rahe hain that's just the direction hai na yes 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 theek hai sir line of action is the direction of the force this is the line of action of force which is the direction of the force perpendicular distance from the direction of the force or line of action of force right okay then we have uh, uh, the equilibrium If an object is in equilibrium, it should satisfy two conditions. If body is in equilibrium, what happens is under the action of several forces, satisfy two conditions. Condition number one is that let's say you have an object here, or a force lag rahi hai yaha pe. Let's say this is pi newton. Let's say this is two newton, and this is seven newton. So you see that the forces on the right hand side are equal to the forces on the left hand side. And similarly, if you have something of this sort, you have a five newton force here, and you have four newton force here, and you have one newton force here, for example. Then what's happening is the sum of forces in one direction is equal to to the sum of forces. in the other direction forces in one direction should be equal to the sum of forces in the other direction so here we have we have this the resultant here is what zero newton resultant is in we have the resultant as zero and number 2 that the principle of moments should apply and what is the principle of moments ye aapko aana chahiye principle of moments state that for an object for an object in equilibrium the sum of clockwise moments at a point 
must be equal to sum of entire clockwise movements about the same point. Equal to sum of entire clockwise movements. Let's say we have here object like this. And let's say this is the pivot. And one of the forces is F1. And let's say this force is D1. Right. There's another force here which is acting here. Let's call this F2. And this distance from the pivot is D2. And let's say we have another force F3. And let's say this distance is D3. So the sum of clockwise movements, what you have to do is first you have to identify that which one of them are clockwise. Which one of them are clockwise? F3, D3, very good. Okay, this is the clockwise movement from the pivot. This is the pivot. Right? Pivot ki taraf aapne move karwana. Hamesha usko pivot ki taraf rotate karwana. Aur ye aapke baas clockwise moment hai yaha pe F3 into D3. Acha, koi aur clockwise moment hai yaha pe? No sir, but sir, uh, anti-clockwise hai. There's no other clockwise moment. This one is entire clockwise moment. This is also entire clockwise moment. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes sir. So F3 D3 is equal to F2 D2 plus F1 into D1. So you get what you get F1 D1 plus F2 D2 is equal to F3 D3. So this is the equation that you're getting. Aren't you? If you have a lot of people who the sum of moments is equal to zero. This is the clockwise moment or the principle of moments. The sum of all moments. The resultant moment is equal to zero. For equilibrium, for equilibrium, the resultant moment of this entire thing is equal to zero. This is the principle of moments. If you take entire clockwise moments as positive, for example, you take entire clockwise moments as positive. So F1, D1, and uh, you have the other one is F2, D2. And if you take, if you take clockwise moments as negative, so you take this as minus F3, D3, and you add all of them, because since you're talking about the resultant, right? If you add all of them, so what's going to happen is that you have plus F1, D1 plus F2, D2 minus F3, D3, since you're adding in, right? Is equal to zero. The sum of which is not made. F1, D1 plus F2, D2. This minus will go away. Positive will go away. F3, D3. Sir, anti-clockwise moment equals clockwise moment. Ah, uh, which is made? Sir, yes, sir. I am explaining. I am explaining. I am saying that you have anti-clockwise positive to liya or clockwise negative to liya. That is my mercy. That is my mercy. You have clockwise to positive. Take the same convention. I have taken clockwise positive. Anti-clockwise was positive. Take it. Okay. If these moments are equal now. Yeah, resultant moment zero now. This means there is no equilibrium. This means there is no resultant moment. If you add all of them and the resultant is zero ki equal now, this means that there is no moment. Okay. Remember that if some of entire clockwise moments and some of clockwise moments are not equal, the object is not in equilibrium and the resultant moment produces rotation. Okay, so rotation produce. <coughs> Is that clear? Yes, sir. The resultant moment produces rotation. What does that mean? So, you have, for example, this way, that a force thi, would like thi, 20 newton. और ये डिस्टेंस था 5 5 मीटर यहां पे आपके पास डिस्टेंस था 3 मीटर्स और यहां पे फोर्स लग रही है 10 न्यूटन तो अब रिजल्टेंट मोमेंट क्या होगा इसका ये इक्विलिब्रियम में तो नहीं होगा ये क्लॉकवाइज है ये एंटी क्लॉकवाइज है तो क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट बनता है f d व्हिच इज मीटर एंटी क्लॉकवाइज रिजल्टेंट ये रोटेट कर जाएगा समझ लीजिए इसका मोमेंट बन रहा है 100 100 newton meter ab aap ek ko positive le le ek ko negative le le to plus 100 ko jab aap minus 30 karenge to plus 70 newton meter 
आ जाएगा व्हिच इज द एंटी क्लॉकवाइज सो इतनी रोटेशन हो रही है बाय यूजिंग दिस कांसेप्ट यू कैन डू दैट राइट इसका जरा ये क्वेश्चन फोर ट्राई कीजिए जो बताइए इस कांसेप्ट क्या है फोर सीधे लग रही है राइट दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज अ क्लॉकवाइज मूवमेंट व्हाट अबाउट दिस वन एंटी क्लॉकवाइज दिस इज एंटी क्लॉक एंटी क्लॉकवाइज व्हाट अबाउट दिस वन एंटी क्लॉकवाइज and i clockwise right so the sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum to 60 into 30 aapne pivot se distance lena hai hamesha is equal to f into distance aapne pivot se lena hai that will be 50 plus pivot se distance lena hai 30 into 40 to bhai aapne 60 into 30 ko liya 40 into 30 nahi lenge beta 60 into 30 lunga na 60 नीचे की तरफ लग रहा है 30 ये अच्छा मैं सर इसका बात कर रहा 60 30 is equal to f 50 50 ये पूरा डिस्टेंस है सही समझ आ गया 30 40 तो 1850 f 13 40 1200 12 आंसर आ जाएगा 